Namaste everyone welcome back to another video in today's video we are going to talk about 5D consciousness the 5D consciousness is all about living beyond fear living freely living in abundance living in alignment with your spirit but it becomes really hard to live in that 5D consciousness when you are byproduct of that 3D consciousness you can't really understand the 5D consciousness without realizing that you are conditioned with the 3D consciousness. We live in a world where the collective is controlled through fear and all this fear that we see around us, the system of authority, the system of control, all the systems that take away your freedom, it's all a reflection of the collective 3D consciousness. So to understand the 3D and 5D, the first thing that you need to realize is that perception creates your reality. The main thing that influences your world that in which dimension that you are tapping into it is defined by your perception what is your perception of the world because we are byproduct of a fear driven world we are bombarded with fear from our childhood we are conditioned with fear with control we are constantly in survival and the biggest one is the fear around money so we are constantly in fear and because of this our perception of the world the default programming the default dimension that we are in is 3D, which is the dimension of survival, fear, greed, lack, scarcity. But when you go through the awakening and when you realize that this is a very limited perception to live life, if I see through the lens of fear, the world becomes fearful. And when you wake up and you remove that filter, when you start seeing the world from the lens of love, oneness, freedom, the world looks different. So it is not the world that has changed. It is your perception. It's just like there are two glasses. One glass is of 3D. Other glass is of 5D. When you put on those glasses of 3D, it has the filter of fear. Now the world becomes fearful. That's the default conditioning of the collective consciousness, the collective hive mind energy. That's just the way it is. That's the truth. But it's not your true nature. This collective consciousness of 3d creates a mass hallucination for everyone it's like everyone is in the matrix and because it seems so real it is physical it is dense the more the energy is in the lower dimensions the more it is dense it is more physical the mind the ego thinks physical is true i can focus on that i can hold it so it must be true so it believes in the story and not just this but because all that it has experienced from the childhood is fear is survival so it seems normal it seems to be true but when you wake up and when you realize that fears is false evidence appearing real it's not true it's our conditioning that we are not just meant to stay in survival all the time and when you start unlearning all that fear that's when you see through the glass of love and oneness. So you don't have to wait for the outside world to shift into 5D consciousness. There is a long time for that and we don't even know for sure. The only thing that you can do is change your own level of consciousness, your own state of consciousness. And through that you tap into a different dimension, the 5D level of consciousness. So you have to change your perception to change your level of consciousness and to change your reality. You have to first focus on your own energy, on your own lens, and your lens changes by your beliefs. This is a very important point. Our beliefs are rooted in fear by default, and we have to unlearn them. But the problem is that everyone around us, especially if you are really much connected to the matrix, to the system, whether it's through your job, it's through your relationship, it's through your friend circle, it's through your family. You will notice that all the things from the 3D, the fear, the scarcity, it's very normal for them. And a lot of times, some things are really toxic as well. The codependent energy, the narcissism, it's all very normal. And when you constantly find yourself surrounded by such energies in such environments, you start to feel alienated, like you are alone, you are the only one who can see beyond the fear, beyond the lack, that life is not just about survival. So the ego starts feeling demotivated because it's not able to make others see, especially your loved ones, the people you are in relationship with, your family, 
you are unable to make them see the abundance the other side the whole other dimension so the only thing you can do at this point is to accept that this is not about other people you are not here to force or coerce other people to this dimension to the 5d consciousness it's your path only you can tap into it it is an individual's journey you can't force other people to see in a different way awakening is an inside job changing your perception is an inside job two same people can go through the same experiences but because they are wired differently internally they will see the same experience differently they will come out of that experience differently because they will perceive it differently that's how powerful perception is for example gratitude is a very small and powerful tool to instantly shift your energy from fear to love to oneness to appreciation to feel that the universe has your back that the universe has given you blessings to be truly grateful instantly shifts your vibration not a gratitude practice that is just a mental thing but practicing gratitude from your heart but the people who are in 3d the people who are stuck in the matrix they are unable to practice true gratitude because their mind is constantly focused on complaints as soon as they wake up they have things to complain about they focus on the things that are going wrong in their life so it keeps them in the cycle of complaining again and again so you don't have to seek validation from this system from the society for your 5d consciousness and you don't have to force them to see that truth you just have to focus on your own journey you don't have to chase anyone you don't have to prove anything you just have to live your life and the another problem with the ego is that it requires social validation and we live in a world especially in the 3d where everyone is after social status when we say that you are in abundance there is infinite abundance you just have to open yourself up to it instantly the ego will say but i don't have as much as that person the problem is not that you don't have enough the problem is the social status the ego is in a race of social status it wants more and more so when the ego looks at itself through the society's perception it feels i am big i have achieved everything now i have a really higher social status but if you look at it it's just a mental thing you can have the best social status but from within you feel unhappy and that's why we live in a society of unhappy people of lonely people because they are projecting the image that they are happy they have this they have that but at the end of the day they feel alone they feel unhappy with the life they have created because it is completely in misalignment with who they truly are with their authentic self they have created a facade so this is one of the greatest thing that you have to unlearn that the universe has already given you all the abundance and it will give you more but first you have to focus on your own journey on your own abundance you have to be grateful for that you don't have to compare your life with someone else life was never supposed to be this way in the first place but because of the 3d collective consciousness and the creation of social status we all are in a race in the 3d and that creates an illusion of lack that you don't have enough but in your own personal journey whatever you require right now if you start focusing on your blessings you have everything you lack nothing so shift your focus from fear to gratitude shift your focus from fear to abundance you are not in lack open yourself up to that frequency the next very important point is that when people are in 3d consciousness they become the victim of their reality they start feeling that they don't have the power to change their reality because they are complaining all the time because they are blaming someone else all the time they don't realize that they have the power they have what it takes to change their reality on the other hand in the 5d consciousness once a person starts realizing that their belief holds the power to change the outside reality that their perception holds the power it is creating the reality it's not changing anything it's creating it so these two people have completely different perspectives mindsets about life one feels victim the other feels creator 
that they are co-creating with existence with universe their perception their belief system is really powerful it can change their dimension completely their perception is changing dimensions and hence creating realities so the 3d always makes you play the victim victim of circumstances victim of the past the past trauma all the low vibrational energies it hold you back there but in the 5d consciousness you are able to see that you don't belong to the past that you don't belong to something that you can't control you have what it takes to change your perception in the now to switch to a better vibration in the now and you have to realize that when we are talking about vibrations low vibrational high vibration it's not about reaching or achieving a vibration we are human beings we will fluctuate sometimes we will get triggered sometimes we will realize that i have still fear i have this trauma you release that fear you release that trauma for that you accept that trauma you accept that fear it's not about bypassing the fear so you also have to heal yourself you have to integrate the energy but you should have the understanding that you create your reality if you feel fearful your vibration is fluctuating it's okay you are a human being you fluctuate you go through waves but the understanding should be there the realization should be there the actualization that i create my reality my perception is powerful i live in an abundant universe i have the power to change my reality the people who play the victim they never take accountability they are not self responsible their responsibility is always on other people whether it can be their parents it can be the society it's always blaming something for their state of being and self accountability makes you powerful it makes you empowered that's why in the 5d consciousness you are free freedom begins with self accountability freedom begins with self responsibility the moment you say that i am responsible that's the moment you start changing your beliefs you start creating a better life for yourself and in 3d the people are always controlled by their past they always feel guilty they always feel past is somehow stopping them the reason is and this is a very important point that time is something which is an illusion the actual truth is that life is always happening in this now moment the people in the 3d live in time and by time they have a particular idea of past they are carrying like a baggage they think it's still existing i went to this school i went to this university i was this person 10 years ago and they are replaying that story again and again they think they are still that person but that person is gone the only person that exist is in this moment or they are thinking about the future that i won't be able to achieve that or if i achieve that then i'm only going to be happy so they are never present when you are in the 5d consciousness you are present you are in the moment you are not thinking about the past all the time you are not thinking about the mistakes that you made in the past you accept them you learn from them and they become your lessons they give you wisdom but you are not stuck there you move forward and you always live with a presence and that presence is always in the moment your beingness this energy instantly makes you come out of the illusion of time the illusion of time is one of the greatest illusions that man has created for themselves the mankind has created it was created as a concept it was never created as a reality as a physical thing it's just a mental construct which was created to make your life easier but now we just live in time always in the past and future never in the now so being present instantly opens you up to the 5d consciousness life is a series of now moments every now moment is a frame and when you see all those frames together you see your life which you call your past which you call your future but everything is always happening in the now moment even tomorrow will always happen in the now moment but we never live here and it's a very important point to be present and you can't be always present definitely but you should have a practice every day once in a while you become present 
throughout the day you become present and lastly the most important thing i feel in 3d people live through their egos through the facades the ego is the identity and that identity is not your true self to be accurate it is your false self it is your conditioned self your true self is your authentic self and for that you have to question your ego you have to question your identity you have to question the identity that you have been given by the society by the system it's not the true you the true you is your authentic self the true you is your inner self that you really need to connect with the ego is in the burden of social status fear survival and so many things it is always living for some future outcome it never lives for the moment it wants money more and more of it so it keeps doing things to achieve more to be more and in turn it completely rejects your inner self what you actually love doing what you enjoy what's your passion what's your purpose it ignores all that because it makes a deal with a particular corporate consciousness so that in turn of rejecting its passion its purpose it will get money in return so it's a trauma response and what's the deep rooted trauma fear around money we see growing up our parents is struggling with money we are always listening to the problems of money money related problems going around and how important money is and i'm not denying that but you have to realize that if you want to live through the 5d consciousness you have to let go of all these beliefs everything that you saw was a projection how your parents used to live how well struggled in the past anyone you saw it was their reality and you internalized it you can break out of that by changing your beliefs by realizing that you can also manifest abundance through following your passion through living from the heart not by always living in the fears of the ego the ego is always in survival that's why it never follows the heart it always gives its power away to the corporate consciousness on the other hand in 5d consciousness you open your heart and you realize that you have an authentic self you have something within you that is your gift that is your passion and you allow yourself to follow that because you unlearn all the fear and it's a process but every day you show up for yourself and you realize that i have something that i have to offer and it's not just for me it's for the collective good it's for others as well your passion your purpose it's something that not just gives you joy it's something that you share with others and a very good example is nature a tree never eats its fruit the river never drinks its own water it's just a metaphor i'm not saying that you can't benefit from your own craft from your purpose but see the point here everything that we do in the 3d it's selfish it's for us only it's absolutely for ourselves but when you do something of passion purpose automatically it will happen that it will start benefiting other people in a positive way because the energy from which it is coming it is pure it is love it is something higher when you are in 3d you are always running through fear the fuel is fear but when you are in 5d the fuel is love the fuel is oneness the fuel is purpose the energy completely changes so it's not about achieving the 5d consciousness you will constantly fluctuate sometimes you will feel low sometimes you will feel fear and you will feel different but if you have the understanding if you have the wisdom if you have the realizations you will always strive to go towards the 5d consciousness and the more you strive towards the 5d consciousness the more you change your reality your outer reality it starts redesigning itself to match your internal dimension of consciousness and it's a process be patient with yourself don't be in a rush you fluctuate your vibration constantly fluctuates but you always strive for the 5d consciousness and you always realize that it's not just a mental thing don't feel alienated it's very real energy is very real perception is very real don't try to prove anyone anything it's about you and your own journey
i hope you enjoyed this video you can like comment share you can also support my work by hitting the thanks button and please make sure to subscribe see you in the next video much love to you all